Welcome back to our channel. This is Dark Gamer RV. And um, if you're new to this channel, please click on subscribe for live gameplay videos here in my channel. We're going to talk about games, games, and more games. All right. So right now, I just wanted to thank everyone who's um, supporting me from the unboxing video to the live gameplays to to here on our actual um, game review. Because right now we're going to give an honest feedback or review to this game which is Resident Evil Village. So I'm um, just the same game that I unbox. Wanted to thank everyone. Um, again, Dark Gamer RV is a Filipino gamer um, from the Philippines. And I'm just a normal gamer who wants to give an honest feedback about games that I played. And um, for those people supporting me from the Philippines, mga tol, alam nyo na yan, thank you sa inyo, thank you sa support, ah. and keep on following guys, because um, we'll be posting more uh, contents about games. Content and should be helpful for you guys in purchasing your games. Alright, so what are we waiting for? Let's go! This is she a sequel game here. for RE7 of course, that's how I ended up uh, where Mia, the wife of Ethan, the protagonist, um, ask um, to be saved by Mia Ethan. Being held captive so the ending is uh, where Chris saved both of them um, after she the biohazard right. incident on the Baker's territory. Like some kind of wild animal. So this is where, after Later this on, um, incident, that's where kind of um, Resident Evil Village comes in. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat me as symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. More you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink. I can't blame her. Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana. The pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Resident Evil 8 story starts after um, wife of Ethan was murdered by their hero, same hero that saved them from the Resident Evil 7 game, which is Chris uh, Redfield. Oh God! So even after Shang is saved, they are saved 7, then the revision part, because they are the ones who died, Mia. And honestly, I was shocked nung nakita ko to. Kasi, yeah, I'm a big fan of Chris Redfield way back Resident Evil 1. And si Ethan Winters, after yung hirap niyang save si Mia, 
sa 7, then medyo maiinis ka. Especially if you're following the Resident Evil story game. The story of Resident Evil Village is after ma-murdered si Mia, si Rose is ma-kidnap yung anak ni Ethan Winters. So, uh, hanapin niya si Rose dun sa village. So, mapupunta siya dun sa village where the terrifying events dun mangyayari. So, yun nga, medyo nakakagulat siya. Gameplay wise, it's a good game na siyang vibes na same scare, first person view. This is actually being filmed in the PS5 console with 60 FPS frame rate. So it's good game, honestly. It's at the same time medyo yun nga, um, not really a family friendly game. So hindi siya pang bata. But the gameplay wise, it's very good. So ang story is mahati sa dalawa. So, the location will be yun nga, yung castle. It's the castle and the village. Doon kayo iikot buong game. So, may vibe siyang combination of Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 7. So, ang um, mapapansin mo sa kanya is from, nakuha niya yung Resident Evil 4 vibes yung village. Same village setup. Yung medyo may mga villagers na yun nga, medyo kalaban sila yung dating. At the same time, um, first person view, Resident Evil 7, yun nga, yung scare is nandodoon oh, kasi nga feeling mo nandodoon ka talaga, especially if you're playing in VR. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me I have a gun. No, why would I? Yung suspense ng game is high level na lagang ma magugulat ka. And it's exciting in a way. Um, inventory, same um, platform for the Path Resident Evil. Meron ang yung, yung pag um, pa puzzle is there. Crafting. This time, yung crafting is mas maganda dito. Kasi you can improve yung guns using crafting method then Then you can see yung, yung um, pag-use ng environment dito sa game na to. Sa 7, hindi siya masyadong nagamit. Pero dito, gamit na gamit. Yun nga, para makaiwas ka sa alaban, iharang mo yung barricade, yung use barricade. Then, yung mga bomb sa gilid, yun nga, parang makakitid ka. Ayun, tsaka katawa sa kanya ako, lalo pag hinahabol ka ng mga uh, uh, zombies and monsters. Like RE7, it's almost the same for getting sa um, gameplay of sa weapons. No Actually, mas madali siya mag-aim. This time, napaka-friendly. So, it's for uh, normal gamers kaya hindi siya ganun kahirap. Katulad ng uh, ibang games. Especially, if you're new to FPS, yung iba kasi na, sabi na nakahilo. Nakahilo naman, same with me for the first time. May, pero kasi nung after RE7, medyo na familiar. But this time, it's good. Kasi nga yung lightning yung area, medyo as a snowy village. Nakahilo. 
Then the yung mga kalaban sa game, yung mga villains, is combination of medical creatures. Hindi siya pure zombies lang. Resident Evil is known for the boss battles. So for this game, it's very interesting because every boss battle here, talagang maalala may mga boss fights. It's even though sa seven na yung ganon din, but this time it's known yun yung mga boss battle dito. Talagang very unique kara characters. So nga amero ng vampire battles, may battles na dragon yung kalaban mo, may iba sa sobrang dami na amazing and yun meron tayong mga favorite characters yeah like Duke and syempre everyone knows Lady D forgive my manners call me the Duke now to business weapons ammunition healing salves anything you desire I can provide hmm <laughs> Alright guys, so yup, um so let's talk about being honest, right? This game is pretty cool for me and all and no bias, but for me I highly recommend for you playing this game. This is a friendly game, probably not for everyone since it has too much violence, but um it's very worth it for its price. This is a new release and one of the best Resident Evil that I've played. Um, I played almost all of them from Resident Evil 1, from the original 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And guys, tune in for my um, live gameplay for Resident Evil 2 and 3. And we'll be playing those, those games um, to follow up in this game. So, yun mga katol, thank you again for supporting. This is 9 out of 10 for Dark Gamer RB. Tune in for more gameplay videos. Thank you for watching.